In this video, we are going to talk about minimum spaces for fixtures in a bathroom. And these are building codes. I'm pulling this right out of the International Residential Code Book. This is on page 54 and 55. There's not a lot to it. Only a few measurements actually you need to remember. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. 15 inches is from the center of the toilet to the side of any object, including a wall, toilet, um, sink, the um, non-operable side of a shower, for example. And uh, this would be fr from the right and the left of the toilet. 15 inches is the minimum. It can be larger cannot be smaller and usually 12 inches is a standard measurement from the finished wall to the center line of a drain but you would need to check with a toilet manufacturer to verify that so 15 inches from the from the sides uh, minimum clearance a shower the minimum size for a shower will be 30 inches by 30 inches that is the minimum it can be larger we do need a 24 inch clear space in between the door, the operable part where you get in and out of the shower. 24 inches is the minimum distance out and uh, um, I would imagine it would be 30 inches the width of the shower but uh, I'm not sure. Actually it does look like that in the building code so 30 inches wide 24 inches out, try not to have anything in that area. On the side of the shower where you are not going to be entering or exiting the shower, you can put the fixtures right up against it or follow the clearances. So for example, a toilet next to here would need to be 15 inches away from the finished wall. But a sink, you might be able to put the sink right up against it or close to it. And same thing with a bathtub, if that is the side of the bathtub. It lets you say that the bathtub was facing this way. It was five foot wide, 30 inches this way. Uh, you might be able to put it right up against the um, shower. Might not want to, because how are you going to clean the thing? But uh, so, and again, I'm just explaining the building codes here. And uh, if I didn't mention this, don't forget to check with your local building authorities for uh, to verify these building codes. These are out of a code book and are well accepted codes, but uh, might be different in your area. It's just the uh, way it is. Um, this is not a building code, just something I want to suggest. Uh, I mentioned this in another video and it might have raised some attention. The I said that I, you needed 36 inches clear space in between an area if you had a toilet in its own room. If you had a door here and you, and you came into your toilet and where you could close the door, I have never ever worked on anything that didn't have a minimum of 36 inches um, clear space in here. So that would be instead of 15 inches, it would be 18 inches from side to side, center of toilet to the finished wall. So just wanted to mention that, but this is not a building code I found anywhere. So again, 18 inches from the center of the toilet to the finished wall, um, giving us a 36 inch or a three foot wide room. In front of the fixtures, 21 inches. And this applies to everything except for the one I just mentioned about the shower. In front of a toilet, finished farthest protruding point to the farthest protruding point of the object in front of it, 21 inches. This includes a sink and a cabinet. And uh, the bathtub, actually, guess what it is? 21 inches. So we have 21 inches in front of all of these objects except for a shower. And remember, this is the farthest protruding point. You know, if you build a cabinet and you think, hey, I just got, I got uh, 21 inches here, I'm perfect. Um, then you go ahead and you put a countertop on and it protrudes a little bit past, probably not going to make the building inspector happy. This is probably the most common layout for a bathroom. And I, I'd be willing to bet anyone watching this video has seen it especially if you live in the United States, this is the most common. You have a bathtub, a toilet, and a sink. Every once in a while, you're going to have the bathtub, a sink, and a toilet. 
um, but it doesn't get any uh, doesn't uh, get any uh, better than this. This is probably like I said. Now, the thing I'd like to point out here is that you're not always going to have the 21 inches in between the bathtub and the next object. I've seen the cabinets right right up against here, and I've seen the toilets right here. And um, I really don't know why that is. So maybe you just need a clear area. If you had 21 inches in front of the toilet um, and 21 inches in front of the tub, maybe this is all you need. Um, and the reason why I'm suggesting that is because this toilet obviously does not follow the building codes that I'm looking at here in this book. It didn't say with an exception of the toilet. I didn't find that anywhere. And again, if you watching this video, you know where this information is. Share it with me. I can always remove the video or put some links in to the appropriate information. So again, toilet, um, uh, clear minimum clearance between a bathtub is going to be 15 inches for a situation like this. 15 inches in between the or between the cabinet or the farthest protruding section, which would probably be the countertop, 21 inches in front of the tub, in front of the toilet, and in front of the um, cabinet. Another view of it there. Now let's go ahead and look at the last thing, which would be the ceiling height. The ceiling height of a bathroom from finished floor, top of finished floor, to bottom of finished ceiling, seven feet. Now it says that, and there are a few exceptions. You can actually go, it looks like six foot eight. And if I'm reading this correctly, if I'm reading the information in here correctly, it looks like six foot eight is actually the minimum measurement for the ceiling. Um, the code's a little confusing. That starts off, the very first part states that seven feet is the minimum, and then, um, uh, another paragraph away it actually states that six foot eight you can actually have six foot eight I don't want to read it to you because um, I don't want to get into any copyright infringements or any problems like that but anyway that's it this is um, kind of a brief summary or as brief as I can make it at least with the minimum measurements for a bathroom and and its fixtures